on the last episode of Dragon Block Exorcist. Our hero finds himself face to face with a brand new destiny that can bring him internal happiness to the world and to himself. But now, a week later, he finally is now face to face with his new school, a new chapter in his life, the Exorcist Academy. Hey, Pat. So, how are you liking the place? This is your new school, after all. <laughs> Seriously, this is my school? I mean, this looks like a jungle gym. Like, look at all this. It's crazy looking. <laughs> I don't know. The people here decided to be a little bit crazy when it comes to setting up the campus. Now, there are people that actually live on this campus, but since that we're actually really, really close, you won't have to worry about that. You'll still be staying with me. If you choose so at first. Yeah, I think I'm gonna still stay with you, regardless. Um, but... It's just overwhelming. So... I'm gonna be here from now on, because I decided to join the Exorcist, right? Yep. This is where you're gonna learn how to become an Exorcist. How you're gonna fight. How you're gonna train. Also, how you're gonna be able to, you know... Pay your bills because the exorcists are don't pay as much as you think. Wait, what? Really? And how the heck are you supposed to afford me and you together? It's just you paying the bills, basically. <laughs> well, at first you weren't able to pay bills, but if you get up higher in the ranks like me, <laughs> oh, the money is very, very sweet. Well, that's good to hear, but. This place is so overwhelming. Are we going the right way, by the way? Yeah, don't worry. We're definitely going the right way. Wait, wait what's over there? Huh. Just looking at the wildlife. It's been a few weeks since I've actually been here. It's been quite busy on the field recently, so I haven't actually been able to enjoy the weather here. Also, it's just really nice to, like, you know, enjoy the outdoors when you're not in the middle of the city. Don't get me wrong, I absolutely love where we live, but... For some reason, I just really like the woods, you know? Yeah, I understand where you're coming from, Dad. This is so peaceful. I love it! I'm already falling in love with this school. Yeah, I knew you would. But keep on going this way, alright? Yeah, alright. Let's pick up the pace, okay? I'm really, really excited for this. <laughs> I know, son. I know. But... One second, before, before you head off, there is something I'm going to have to tell you. What's that? What's that, Dad? Well, we're going to be seeing the head principal, you know, like I said before, but don't freak out when you see him. He's a little different than the rest of us, okay? What do you mean by that? Um, hmm. Well... You'll just have to see. It's really hard to explain. Alright, Dad. If you say so, but... It's down this way, right? Yeah. It's this building right here. This one? Yeah. I know. This place is pretty huge, too. This is the principal's office. This is his building. Wait. He gets this building? He gets the one that has the clock on it? Yeah. I know. Wait, I just realized something, Dad. What's that? Where are all the other students? Well, you see the clock up there right now. It's 3.30. Yeah? What about it? Usually, for us, we'd be getting out of school like a few hours beforehand. Yeah, well, this campus is a little bit different when it comes to school. These are prime school hours right now. So, the students won't be out for another hour. All right. Guess I understand. I'm gonna have to get used to that. So wait, what time do they start? What time does it start? Uh, classes start around 10. 10? 10 o'clock? So basically, I could sleep in almost every single day. Yeah, pretty much, but don't let that go to your head. You still have to do your schoolwork. I know, I know. Jeez, Dad, why do we say this kind of stuff? 
Oh, it's true. I want you slacking in the school that I told you to go to. They will kick you out. Even though I am a head honcho around here, they will kick you out if you're doing bad. Yeah. We already kind of went over this, Dad. I understand. I'm just making sure. All right. Let's head up to the principal's office. <sighs> All right. I'm a little nervous for this, though, Dad. You said he was, like, all weird? What is that supposed to mean? Oh, uh, don't worry about it, son. He's a good guy, don't get me wrong. He's weird, but he's got a good heart. Okay. Wait, should you be opening the door? No. New students should do it. He's already know what I look like. Plenty of times. He's curious about you, so you should do it. <sighs> Alright. Here goes nothing. Huh. Um, hello? Hello? Is anyone there? Eh? Hello? Please open the door! Okay, here comes nothing. What the? What, where is he? I could have sworn I heard something. You were looking right at him, boy! Wait, what? Um... Excuse me? Well, yeah, this is me. How you doing there, boy? I guess you're the one that Ragnarok was talking about. Well, you're him? What's what's going on here? It's good to see you, sir. It's been a while, huh? How have you been? Oh, Ragnarok. Yes. Been doing pretty well. Except for the fact that I'm a little disappointed that you didn't give me a fine lady instead. Sir, I told you it was my son. I know, I know. But one can dream. What can I say? Wait. But okay, okay. Before be, before we keep talking, please explain. What the heck is going on here? This is him? Why is he so see throughable? See through, but what the heck are you talking about? This is me. N no, but like, I could see right through you. Clearly, I could see that light right behind you. What's going on here? Well, <laughs> it's gonna be hard to explain, Pat. But our principal here, he was alive many, many years ago. He passed away a long time ago. This is him still, but. From another world. Kind of like the world that you went to the other week. You know, that hellish world. Yeah? Wait, so he's in there? Are we supposed to do something about that? No, no, he's not in there. He's actually in the good part, the heaven part of that area. Yep, I'm actually pretty dead right now. But the gods gave me access to this world through this hologram. Oh, it's pretty handy, don't you think? Really? So, so I'm talking to someone who's already passed? Yep. <laughs> I know, seems a little weird, huh? Yeah, I mean, I, I, I've i never actually talked to a dead person before. This is like talking to a ghost. This is, oh, I just got chills. Eh, don't worry about it. Everybody has the same, same response. But don't worry, I won't bite. Especially that you're not a lady. What is that supposed to mean? Ah, don't worry about it. What? How you been enjoying the campus so far? Has Ragnarok given you the tour? Yeah, he's given me the tour of the... A couple of the main buildings so far. Not the dorms or anything, but... A couple of the main buildings. Haven't seen any students, though. Yes, because everybody's at school. Everybody's gotta learn, right? Training is the only thing we do here at the Exorcist program. Yeah, I, I heard. But... Yeah, the school is overwhelming. I'm really, really liking it. Just, I don't know, I'm just really nervous about what's to come. Oh, don't worry. Everybody's a little bit nervous when they find new and exciting things. So, tell me, boy. Why did you want to become an exorcist? Why did I want to become an exorcist, you say? <sighs> it's because I want to be like my dad. Oh, you shouldn't have- Shut up, Dad! I'm trying to be cool here, 
You're embarrassing me! Shh! But I want to be like my dad. He seems so freaking awesome. And the fact that I got to see him fight against those beings from the other world. What did you call him, Dad? Cyberman. Yeah, Cyberman. <laughs> Cyberman. That's a good one. What do you mean? Well, the Cybermen, son. Those are some of the weakest beings over there. They literally pose no threat to people with a little bit of training. I mean, even look at you. You were able to defeat one of them with only two blows. <laughs> a lot of the population could even do that. Really? So I'm already, like, a lot better than everybody? Yep, I guess so. Ragnarok has given me a little bit of a report of you in the other world. I know it was his fault for bringing you there in the first place. Which I do deeply apologize. But... You seem to be holding your ground quite well. And you've not had any training before, right? No, 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 tra no training at all. Besides watching... A couple, like, animes and trying to do the transformation screams in the shower. That's pretty much it. Well, yep. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of kids these days seem to do that. TV shows, am I right? But anyways... You sure you want to join here? I mark you down as a student if you do. My final answer? Of course. I want to join. This place seems way too cool not to be. Alright. Welcome to the team of the Exorcist. Well, first off... We're gonna need to have you to do a little bit of a test. A test? I are you talking about a test. Oh, it's just a little testy. I mean, not really a test because I don't think you know how to do it already. So basically, it's more like an assignment. And if you can do this, you are definitely part of the team. Okay. Well, what do you want me to do? You have to learn to fly. Fly? Fl fly. You mean like, like a bird, like a plane, like a fly. Yep, you have to learn how to fly. You could do that? You can learn how to fly? Yeah. <laughs> I actually kind of learned it around your age myself. Wait, you could fly too, Dad? Yeah, I could fly. I mean, I don't like showing it because, I mean... If a regular civilian saw someone flying through the air, it'd probably cause an outrage. I guess so. I guess I know what you're talking about, but... You can fly? I, I didn't know that was even possible. I thought that was only fairy tale type stuff. Nope. The fighters that I talked about long ago, they all knew how to fly. Actually, <laughs> kind of a funny fact. Everybody I've ever trained has learned to fly at some point. Even the weaklings, like... Oh, Yamcha. He was labeled to learn how to fly at some point. Wow, okay. So, how do I do that? Well, Ragnarok, would you be able to show him? I mean, I can't really move from this pedestal, you see. And I feel as though a father-son bonding session is definitely needed for this. Of course, sir. I will teach him at once. So, son, you ready to learn how to fly? Am I? All right, Dad, so this is where we're gonna learn how to do it? Yep, this is exactly where. <laughs> I hope you're ready. Yeah. By the way, Dad, this college, this school, it's all right to call it a college, right? Yeah, basically is one. But it's so overwhelming. I mean, just look at this. It's so beautiful. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I can already tell you're gonna love it here, huh? Yeah. It's gonna be great. But first off, Dad, I just had a question to ask you. Yeah? What's up? What's with this outfit? I mean... I love the fact that you have one, and it looks so freaking cool, but this one is huge on me. Couldn't you find a, like, a smaller size? I'm sorry, son, but unfortunately, this is the only one that we could have found. 
We're kind of low when it comes to supplies recently. A lot of new people want to join the Exorcist, so... I'm sorry, but... Don't worry, you'll grow into it, I promise. Also, a few washes, it'll probably shrink to you. <sighs> Alright, Dad. If you say so, but... Okay. What time is it right now? Oh, it's, it's already four? Okay, we better get this going before uh, the other students show up. As much as I want to meet new people, I, I don't want to be embarrassed showing them that I can't fly yet. All right. So you ready to learn how to fly, huh? Yeah, Dad. I'm definitely ready. All right. So this is how you're going to be able to do it. You're going to have to harness your key. Wait, key? Wait, I've heard of this before. What do you mean by key? Oh, key. <laughs> I forgot to mention that. Key is something that flows through your body, kind of like a muscle. You have to strengthen it in order to gain great power. Kind of think about, say, if you wanted to get your biceps up, you do a lot of push-ups. Or if you want to get good lung control, you do a lot of running. It's kind of like that. You're going to have to control your key inside of your body in order to achieve great feats. One of the easiest things to do while controlling key is flight. Think of it flight as something like a car engine or like a helicopter. What you do is that you harness your key and you push it down to the soles of your feet. Try to release it out for there. And kind of like that, the air current or your key will lift you up on the ground. I know it sounds really, really weird because you've never even tried doing it in the first place, but I promise you, just take a deep breath. You'll be able to do it. And once you actually are too, you'll be able to join the exorcist for sure. <laughs> okay, Dad. So all I have to do is focus to the bottom of my feet. And it should be able to lift me up? Yep, that's it. You could do it. I believe in you. Alright. Here goes nothing. <laughs> Son, you're actually sort of doing it. Just keep it up. Wait, really? I'm not really feeling much. If anything, I'm just getting a little lightheaded. Well, yeah. It's because you're focusing too much. Just relax while you do it. <sighs> Alright. I'm gonna try to do this. Just relax. Focus. Whoa, 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 what's going on? Yes, son, you're doing it. I'm believing you. <gasps> Dad, what's going on? I can't stop. Focus, you could do it. Stop releasing it on your feet. Okay, I'll stop. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh -huh. <sighs> there you go. That's my boy. I'll just hold it there. I'm actually doing it. I'm actually flying, Dad. You are doing it. How does it feel? It feels overwhelming. Like, how is this possible? People are all able to do this? Funny fact, yeah. Just nobody knows how to do it. Everybody's capable of flying. This is amazing. I'm going to try to go back up, all right? Yeah, do it. I'm doing it. Dad, I'm doing it. I'm doing it, Dad. I'm moving around. I'm doing it, Dad. You're doing it, son. Keep it up. Dad, this is great. I'm loving this. Oh, but, Dad, how do I get back down? Just release your key. Okay. I'm gonna try to release my key right here. Wait. Oh, wait. Hi. Whoop! Ow! Son, are you okay? No. Uh, uh, wait. 
What's going on? Ow, my head! Ow! So I assume you're up, huh? Uh, uh, Dad? Is everything okay? Now I should be asking you the same thing. How are you doing? Uh, last thing I can remember is... My head. I hit the ground and it's... Why does my head hurt so much? <laughs> it looks like you fell from a story high. Guess you ran out of key pretty quickly. Wait, now I remember. I was learning how to fly. And I actually was able to do it for a little bit. Yeah. I was really, really impressed with you. So, seriously. I'm really impressed. I didn't think you'd be able to do it so quickly. It actually took me a while to get a little bit of a hang of it. But you actually were able to turn and actually change the level of how much you were flying. It was amazing, actually. Thanks, Dad. So, I can basically do that at any time, right? Yeah, pretty much. So, if I say if I do this right now... Ow! No! 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 Head still hurts. There's a ceiling. Ow! No! Yeah, don't do that. It's not smart. Also... Do me a little favor about this flight thing, okay? Yeah, sure. What's up? You know how I never fly? How I never do anything that has to do about my job around here. Yeah? You have to do the same. It's a form of secrecy. If the people of this planet knew what the exorcists were, and what we actually did, there would be an uprising. People would start freaking out. People wouldn't know what to do. Also, some people would be against us. But why do you say that? You guys are doing good things in the world. I know, but there are people out there that actually like the chaos, so be sure to make sure that you don't tell anybody about this, alright? Yeah, I guess so. I can see where you're coming from, especially the fact that people found out about the other world. <sighs> yeah, people would definitely be freaking out. I understand, Ed. I won't tell anybody about this. I won't show anybody either, okay? That's my boy. I knew I could look up to you. And you were definitely the right choice for this job. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. So... Am I officially a member of the Exorcist? Yes. You are officially a member. Now, remember you still have to do that extracurricular activity at school. They aren't letting you out the hook for that, you know. Just because you're switching schools. Ugh, are you serious? But I have to go out there and just pick up trash for a couple hours. Uh, do I really have to? I'm sorry, son, but that's the thing you have to do. They won't actually let you out of the school until you do it. I actually tried getting you out of it because, in my opinion, it sounds really, really stupid, but... You have to do it. <sighs> At least, can I have, like, a couple more minutes to just relax downstairs before I go off? Yeah, just make sure you do it by the end of the day, alright? Yeah. Okay. I just wanted to get my thoughts straight about everything. Especially about this key stuff. Alright. I'll be in my room. If you need anything, just go up there, okay? Yeah. Okay, Dad. And, by the way... Thanks, Dad. You're really helping me out. <laughs> Oh, my son. I've always wanted to be a good father, but... Okay, Dad, let's not get too carried away. I just wanted to give you a hug. That's it. I know, but... I'll be in my room, okay? Okay, Dad. You do that. My boy! <sighs> He's doing one of his crazy episodes again. Jeez, Dad. He's always like this. Well... In any case, I guess I'm a member of the Exorcist now. <laughs> it's a little bit overwhelming, to be quite honest. I didn't actually think I'd be able to join that quickly. And just to learn how to fly, too. Like, so if I am able to do this, right? <sighs> okay, what? But I thought it was... Oh. 
Hmm. Wait a second. I think I understand. Maybe I just used up too much key. I mean, it was the first time I've actually ever used it. I didn't even think we actually had key in our systems, but... Yeah, let me try one more time. Relax. Yeah. It seems like it. I can't fly right now. Hmm. Interesting. I guess I'll give myself a day, see if my key actually regenerates, but... Honestly? I'm so excited about this. So many things are gonna happen. And... I'm just excited to see what happens next. If I'm gonna be able to save people, and make sure that this planet is safe, just... It's such an overwhelming responsibility, but... I think I'm ready for it. I know I'm only 16, but... I think it can actually... make a difference in this world.